Hello World of Army, this is Jade from Jaden's Videos, and this is the last video on this, <laughs> I just liked the video right as I was talking, this is the last video on the Spirit Sneak Peeks for 2016 for today. Um, well as we know of, maybe they'll release some more tonight. I don't know, I'm gonna go to sleep soon, <laughs> because it's 12.57am where I live, as you can see in the top of my screen. I'm not gonna zoom in for this video, because the last one I saw it kind of messed up the video. When I did that on this app where I'm screen sharing my phone. But shout out to Haunt Hunter, his videos down there. And shout out to Sweet Halloween, of course. Anyways, um, I'm going to make it so I get notified. Um, this is their uh, video summoning something spooktacular. And you won't be able to hear the audio, but really all it is is uh, crackling sounds of fire. But I'm going to play the video, then I'm going to give you my theories on it. Now, everyone's thinking witch hut, and I'm thinking the same thing, but I'm not just thinking normal witch, because we saw Ouija board at the end, if you see that for a split second, right before it cuts to the spirit logo, there is a Ouija board, you can see it right there. There it is, it's coming into view. Yeah, it might be kind of hard to get a good view of it, but there it is, there it is. Anyways, Morbid Enterprises made a Ouija board prop, is making a Ouija board prop this year. So, I'm thinking that this could be it. Um, because Spirit Halloween, they also had a lot of Ouija board, um, stuff in store last year. Like, if you guys remember, they had the mugs, the table trays, and stuff like that. So, this could be it. And the thing is, um, you also see that thing dipped in the pot thing right there it looks like the thing the teacher prop well that's what people refer to it had um dipped in a pot thing and as you can see in the background there's a fire there's some brooms in the back and some cauldrons and stuff like that but the thing that really caught my eye in this was something that not very many people are making a big deal oh okay so we also have some pots and pans and fire right there this is something not very many people are making a big deal out of but it really caught my eye that skull up there in the top above the fire a lot of people are probably like oh that's just scenery decoration it's like a bull skull though it's not a normal skull it's like a bull or a ram skull now something we've never seen before is a wild west theme and the thing i think they could have for that i've wanted that for a while now and that's been in the back of my mind for nightmare house 2016 too um, but a Wild West theme, what they could have, they could have, like, skeleton cowboys who pull out their pistols and stuff, like, Wild West has always been a big thing for Halloween, like, bull skulls, ram skulls, you know, skeleton cowboys and stuff like that, it could work. Um, maybe they can make a skeleton horse, uh, that would be kind of expensive, maybe a baby skeleton horse, <laughs> that'd be kind of weird, though, but it could work. Um, a Wild West theme. I know that's probably not something we're going to see, but I I'm just throwing it out there just in case. And the thing is, I don't think this is going to, if this is a witch theme, I don't think it's going to be a normal witch theme. I'm thinking more modern witches like the voodoo and stuff. Because with the Ouija board at the end, that suggests it being more towards voodoo and uh, stuff like that, like voodoo priests and stuff. And then, of course, we got the spirit logo right there. So tell me what you guys think on this. And I really think that it could be a um, a Wild West witch hut. And s maybe we can go back to four themes. Wild West, witch hut, um, carnival, and school theme. I don't know. What do you guys think? Keep howling at the moon, my werewolves. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.